So screening mammography is for patients who have no current problems and no issues for follow-up. Diagnostic mammography is a little different. It's for patients who have a new problem, such as a palpable lump, focal pain, or nipple discharge, and also for those patients being recalled from screening mammograms for evaluation of a problem, and also patients who have had a diagnosis of breast cancer in the last three years. The main benefit is that screening mammography helps us to detect breast cancers when they're small and early stage, and that makes them easier to treat. At Johns Hopkins, we follow the recommendations of the American College of Radiology and also the Society of Breast Imaging. And our recommendation is that women begin screening mammography at age 40 and have an annual mammogram thereafter. We don't have an upper age cutoff. Uh, we usually recommend that a woman continue screening until she and her doctor decide that it may no longer be necessary if she decides that she wouldn't act on the results. Most women are at average risk for developing breast cancer in their lifetime, and we consider that risk to be one in eight women, or about 12%. Other patients are at higher risk, and those women would include people with a first-degree relative with breast cancer. That can include their mother, sister, or daughter, especially if that person was premenopausal at the time of their diagnosis. There are also patients who have gene mutations that can be a risk factor for breast cancer. And we also have risk assessment models that can give us a percentage likelihood of lifetime risk of breast cancer. If a patient's likelihood is greater than 20%, we consider that person to be at high risk. So for all of these high-risk women, we recommend enhanced screening. And that usually involves an annual mammogram plus an annual screening breast MRI. A false positive mammogram result is when a patient is recalled from screening mammography for evaluation of a finding, and the evaluation proves to be benign, not related to a cancer. Although only a small minority of patients are called back from their screening mammogram, it turns out that the vast majority of those recalled have a benign result. So in other words, this is a false alarm, but the reassuring fact is that most of those are benign. So 3D mammography can avoid false positives because we're looking at multiple thin slices of the breast tissue. Um, one good analogy is thinking about uh, a bread loaf, looking at the outside of the entire loaf versus looking at a single slice of bread that you can pick up and turn around and look for all the little holes. So we get a lot more detail looking at the thin slices. So 3D mammography helps us to evaluate that tissue is normal when it really is normal and helps us to uncover masses or other findings that might have been hidden by breast tissue.